Welcome back to our channel. Today, I would love to introduce our latest terrain modeling script toolkit. For a one-stop shopping experience during my process, I start to put most essential topo modeling relevant scripts into one. I hope you find this interesting. Let's dive into today's video. We'll be using some plugins for Grasshopper. This script uses DocuForcer, Bison for modeling, and uh, Matt Hopper for canvas control and visibility control. This video is just a quick introduction of all the functions. The first function is terrain generation. So this method is a little different from what you'd be used to do. We'll still use JS Pro, but we will convert the DM file into a ASCII format, which like this, and do some manner modification of it, and then open that file directly in Grasshopper, like here. We will use the DockerForcer component to convert that ASCII file directly into a mesh. If I show that, so this is the existing mesh. The good thing about this method is you can have the control the resolution of your mesh. So the larger the number is, the lower resolution it is. We can change it to one. If you change this number into one, this resolution basically is exactly the same as a DM. So your resolution of your topo basically have no limitation. It's only limitation it is, is your, the quality of your DM file. If you can find or scan your own DM file, you can have super high resolution terrain if you want. And also for computing power management, we can use this to help us as well. Other than the control of resolution, you can also control the boundary of the mesh. So if I open my bounding box, I can change how big the side is. If you change the resolution to be lower, it can be more responsive. Okay, so that's the two functions um, in terrain generation. The second part is terrain modification with self-healing terrain. The most valuable benefit for this method is you have a self-healing mesh all the time. So for terrain modification, mostly we will do is add roads or make somewhere uh, like a flat or into a defined slope condition, like a parking lot with 2% sloping, something like that. And with this uh, script, you can do, for example, this is the existing contour and uh, we just use as a background. So this is uh, assuming this is the new road center line. We can compare before and after of our adjustment. So the new contour will be like that. Let me turn on the road surface. Oh, I forgot to turn on that. So that can be a flat area. So it can be very easily compare the two. Uh, so on this plan, we can easily see the differences between the existing contour and uh, the new one. Also, we can add road cross sections if we want. Another feature is the slope monitoring function. So we can see lively the segment slope of the road. So if we want to make uh, tweaks and adjustments, we can do that very quickly. And the contour will change with it. Once we are happy with our new topo, it is a mesh. And uh, it's not very friendly for rhino modeling for most of the cases. So we want to convert that into a surface. So we have that part take care of this chunk of uh, script. So we can just uh, turn this button on. You will get a honest representation of the mesh right in surface. So if, if we bake this. And also you can control the resolution here. The last function is cut and fill analysis. 
so you can visually see where the cuts are and also where the fills are. And with some live feedback on the numbers, so you can tweak your design to find a more balanced option. And once you change any of this uh, geometry, it will update lively. So we are using the method called the grid method. Uh, since we are using a DEM file here, if you zoom in, it's based on resolution of pixels, basically uh, square. So I think it would make more sense to use this method because it's more consistent and we can control the resolution of the grid. Since we deliver that control to your hand, you have that option. All right, so that's what you can do with these scripts.